why we're not going four-wheel drive. Effectively, as we started the project, the, the first attempt was to go four-wheel drive um, because we thought if you want to deliver a car, a, fr a front-wheel drive, being capable to deliver 440 newton meter or even what we're doing now with the RS500, close to 500 newton meter, then effectively uh, you face a lot of uh, technical challenges. Primarily, the, the big issue is really with a four-wheel drive, uh, you have to transfer everything to the road, uh, to the system where you steer the car. So you get a lot of error states there. We have seen this almost as a critical subject when you go into this ultimate high-performance version. We said this is not acceptable, therefore we saw we need we need to um, um, set up the car as an all-wheel drive. However, the disadvantage is effectively you add an awful lot of weight and uh, that took away the lightness and the quick response from the focus we, we really try to maintain. And then the idea came up with our technical specialists out of Aachen where we had a an idea we generated a few years ago, which is patented, uh, we call it the Revo knuckle. What this knuckle is actually doing, there's two elements. First, it, it takes out all the uh, uh, torque steer implications from uh, to the steering. So effectively, uh, it eliminates the 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 the, f uh, the force impact to your steering behavior. So you can basically stabilize and hold very precise your steering angles due to the fact that the attachment point of the knuckle to the wheel is or the McPherson strut is dramatically reduced. So you get no lever really to create any noise uh, through this. Uh, that was basically the, the main trigger for improving our steering behavior. But the real advantage is in terms of grip it basically controls also the, the, the toe angle of the wheel. Uh, as you turn in normally, it, it's, uh, it stays constant, so it gets into suboptimal condition, especially in the corner when you want to accelerate, and this is causing the wheel slip, basically. Uh, so here, basically, we kept it variable, and this is the, 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 the nice uh, advantage of this Revo knuckle. So you, in all conditions of your steering angle, you have the optimum position of your wheel to the road, which means perfect uh, traction. And that was basically the main accomplishment of the, of the idea of maintaining a two-wheel drive, lightweight, uh, maintaining the quick characteristic, the handiness of this car. And I think this was a breakthrough for us to say uh, we're not going four-wheel drive, we have something much better. And when you have a chance to drive an RS, I think it, it proves the point. It is just fantastic.